Hey guys, this is Mock Noor, and let's just get into theories. Um, I was gonna save this theory till I had more subscribers, but I'm really passionate about this theory, so I really think I might as well just talk about it now. Um, me and my friends, we were free balling some theories and ideas about mythological creatures and folklore and theories that we thought would explain some phenomena in these folklore, folklore and mythological accounts. And we were basically, you know, leapfrogging off of each other's theories, and here's mine. I call it the ELF theory, or the fairy theory. Um, the theory incorporates telluric currents, ley lines, and ELFs, which are extremely low frequency waves. So, here we go. Um, the premise of this theory is that ley lines, is that fairies have... Fairies had their own parallel world or realm, and other creatures like dwarves and elves and other similar creatures had all lived in this parallel realm to ours. And the theory was that, and part of the theory, or the premise of the theory, was that ley lines worked as portals, and there was this thinly veiled border to the fairy world, or between the fairy world, or other realm and ours. In our realm. Now, the theory starts off here that over time, basically centuries, telluric currents began to weaken and ley lines began to lose energy. As a result, many fairies, elves, dwarves, and other similar creatures were stranded here, which, in my opinion, would explain the sporadic sightings of various creatures that fit. A lot of mythological and folkloric accounts and that are that have been spotted globally another thing is as well another part of the theory as well is that fairies and other similar creatures could harness could have harnessed these electromagnetic currents or harness these waves and gained abilities from that now, let's just get into the explanation part. Um, telluric currents are basically, you know, earth currents, it's electric current that moves underground or through the sea. And telluric currents can, telluric currents are caused, are, result, are caused, be it from natural activity from the earth or human activity. And these currents are extremely low frequency, are ELF. And they travel over large areas of the earth. Also, to further get into this, ELFs, when I researched it, there was um, some experimentation or testing of ELFs or extremely low frequency waves on humans to figure out the effects. And this was decades ago. But um, it was found that certain doses, because certain dosages can cause human beings to feel... A tingly feeling to painful discharges and I remember reading some folkloric and mythological accounts of when of like um if people walk past a bunch of fairies dancing in a circle that they would feel this feeling of euphoria and this urge to dance with them also this also ties in with the other part of my theory that fairy that fairies elves and these other creatures incorporated or managed to harness these ELFs to gain abilities such as levitation or flying by electromagnetism or glamour by controlling electromagnetic electromagnetic waves of light and gaining invisibility or glamour from folklore and mythology that they were so famously have. Also another interesting thing is that ELFs are also supposedly abundant in the ionosphere. And ironically, the Tuatha Danan, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, which is a, a supernatural race, or a supernaturally gifted race of people in Irish mythology, they were referred to as fairies, I mean, they were referred to as fairies, but they were also considered gods and goddesses. And they were said to have originated from islands north of the world, or in other sources and accounts, from the sky. Which is, to me, kind of interesting or ironic or coincidental since ELFs are abundant in the ionosphere 
and my theory basically talks about how I think ELFs and ley lines were used as a way to transverse from their realm to ours. Also, another type of another type of um race was the Aussi. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. It's A O S space S I. It's a type. It's a supernatural race in Irish and Scottish folklore, similar to fairies and elves. And they were said to be ancestors and spirits of nature, and were driven into hiding by humans. And for in some accounts, they were considered to be the middle, to be of a middle nature between men and angels. An interesting thing that, in my opinion, plays into glamour and my theory of them harnessing harnessing electromagnetic waves to gain abilities was was because in some accounts, some some folkloric and mythological accounts, they were said to possess or they were said to possess and be intelligent, fluidous spirits and light, changeable bodies, somewhat of the nature of condensed cloud and best seen in twilight. These bodies were so pliable and through the sub, subtil, I don't know how to pronounce the word, subtlety of spirits that agitate them, that they can make them appear or disappear at pleasure. So basically they had light bodies in a sense. Um, other interesting parts of my theory, I guess that's pretty much my theory in a sense, but let me know what you think of it. To me, it I really put some thought into it, but like I said, it's just a theory. It has flaws and kinks and holes in some reasoning of it, but that's my theory in all of its, in all of its completeness, but there it is. Give me your thoughts and opinions on it. This is Makanor. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.